Welcome, Lucy. Even watching those clips, and I, I watch Corey, I find it really quite difficult to view. And I'm, I'm guessing that's probably the general reaction you're yeah. getting from everyone right yeah, now. Yeah, I think um, quite a lot of people have said, you know, that it shouldn't be on at this time, and it, it's been difficult to watch and stuff. But it's really important that Corey that show it at this time because we're trying to target people who watch Cory because I've seen on Twitter there's a lot of fan and fan pages who are you know 14 and around that age and they're the people that we want to target so to people that are saying it shouldn't be on at this time it's important that it's on at this time so we target those people yeah, and that we're sitting here talking about it exactly yeah. yeah exactly when they told you about the storyline when it was um, set out to you how did you feel? Did you feel nervous about doing it? Well, yeah, I, obviously I was really nervous because I've only been on the show for two years and prior to that, I've, I've not done anything before that. So it, it's like a big responsibility for me because obviously I want to do it justice for survivors. And um, so, yeah, I was really, really nervous, but it, in a way, it, it's really great that I've been given this opportunity to do it because as an actor, it's something that you really want to sink your teeth into and it's a really good storyline. And also, I do want to do it justice for all the survivors. So obviously, you do really get into it and, and that can be difficult. Obviously, we've done quite a few scenes recently where they've been like harrowing scenes. They've been horrific to film. But I have quite a long drive home. That sounds quite weird, but I kind of switch off. Like, I listen to my music and then obviously, I've got my boyfriend and my family at home. So I have a lot of people who really support me so it, it, it's it, there's no real way that you can kind of cope with doing those scenes but then like obviously we spoke to the NSPCC and we spoke to somebody called Lucy who told us her story and speaking to her just made me like so determined to do it right so if I am finding it difficult I just think about that and think about her and it, it just kind of takes away from how I'm feeling and more about he, how she will be feeling. Mm -hmm. if, if and your lovely boyfriend's in the audience isn't he? Hey. <laughs> how, how, how have you coped, how have all your family coped with watching you play out this storyline? Um, I mean like obviously Tom finds it difficult to watch because obviously it's me and he's watching me like act out those things so Tom doesn't really watch it um, and I think obviously my dad finds it quite difficult as well mm. because his daughter that's his daughter on screen kind of acting out those things so I know my dad will find it difficult but apart like my mum she like is amazing she's so supportive and she will watch it and but um yeah so Tom finds it quite difficult I know, so. you're okay with <laughs> it Tom then yeah. well I, I don't I don't sort of choose to watch it but mm. which is a shame anyway because I want to you know I want to be a support supportive as possible but I rely on the rest of the nation to tell me how much of an amazing job she's doing which yeah. I believe she is. <laughs> I find it difficult to get my head around what's going on there. The idea of somebody grooming you and then wanting deliberately so he can share you yeah. uh, amongst his mates. I mean that well, is so disgusting. But Anne that's what happened in Broadchurch in yeah. the final yeah. episode. I, know, but I found that difficult to understand and yet you're sitting here telling me that you've met people who are going through yeah, this. Exactly. Uh, that's just horrific. I think it? it's brilliant what you're doing and do you know what Thank I you really like about this storyline is that the person doing it is not this scary ugly man that you, I, when I was a kid I grew up thinking that paedophiles were in white bands and you knew what they looked like and they yeah. were creepy and weird yeah. people but actually they can just be an older guy who's very attractive very charming. charismatic yeah. charming and you can fall into that trap and I, I love that that portray is portrayed yeah that was something that was quite important um, I think because the survivors that we've spoken to um, they have all said that their groomer or um, predator wasn't a, like a stereotypical kind of person that you would think. So I think that was quite important that we mm. showed somebody who just looks like a normal guy, mm -hmm. but obviously he's got this start. And it's been going on a long time. This grooming has been going on for a while. And, and we, the viewer, can actually sort of, we can feel it. For, we know what's happening to him. You feel like, you know, shouting out and saying, mm. this is what he's doing yeah. and nobody's getting through to you. No, no, she can't see past it because um, for her, she's in love with him and he's in love with her and that's all mm -hmm. there is to it and she's not had a boyfriend before so she just thinks that this everything that's happening is normal. Lucy, what would you say to any young person at home watching this right now who's sort of thinking that I might be involved in something similar here what advice would you give to them because I know you feel quite passionately about making the social media thing where people have to be older before you can yeah. get it on a yeah. and it's as I simple think as that. The main thing that I would say is always trust your gut if you think that something isn't right normally it isn't right so Bethany is going through this and in in her head when he's sharing her with other men she knows that that's not right um, but she's not doing anything about it. So if you know that something isn't right or you feel that something isn't right, m most of the time, it isn't right. Um, and 
I think the social media side of it as well, I think what young people need to realise is that social media isn't real. None of it is real. People only post what they want you to see. So, like, I will only post pictures where I feel like I, I look nice. I will not post a picture where I look horrific. And I think that that's really important, that young people need to know that nothing about social media is real. It's all false. Of course. So. Okay, brilliant, Lucy. Mm. Thank you very much for, for talking so candidly about everything there. And if you've been affected by anything that we've just discussed, please go to our website. There's lots of lists of associations and various people who can try and help you out. Um, and at Soap Award, and rightly so, hopefully Thank coming you. your way because you played you. it so brilliantly, Lucy. Thank you very Thank much. You.